Hello everyone, this is Zilzin Ziltor, and I'm going to be doing the uh, Maiden Rhapsody event uh, quest. This is a limited event, and I think it's up at the end of November, and I'm now just getting to it. So it starts in Limsa Luminsa at the Drowning Wench, and you're going to talk to this little evil looking Lalafell to get it started. So, we're going to start with a journey to remember, and at the end of all this, you get cosmetic gear. Woo! Excuse me, miss, do you have a moment? I remoo-moo. Remoo-moo. That's a lot of moo-moos. With the Harvard Herald, and judging by your dress, you're one of those well-traveled adventurers I've heard so much about. Yeah, I'm extremely well-traveled. No doubt one as worthy as yourself has heard the rumors of an unusual warrior maiden from the Far East. Danger constantly follows her in her footsteps, and the Far Easterners I've spoken with claim her dress and fighting style are nothing they've ever seen. Do you know what happened the last time a strange warrior from unknown lands came to a Eorzea? The upstart Peter Winson practically stole the parchment from my desk to write his story. Our readership soon doubled, and he's been regarded as the Harbor Herald's finest reporter ever since. That should have been my story, and I'll be damned if he beats me to this one. But if following her is as dangerous as it sounds, I'll need an adventurer like you to keep me safe. If you're interested, meet me down at Costa del Sol. That's where she was last spotted. So that's where I plan to start. Quest accepted. More like challenge accepted. Alright, so now we're gonna go down to Costa del Sol. Uh, of course, a Sylvanas Windrunner. And of course, they're a bard. Of course! Ah, you're here at last. I was beginning to think you wouldn't come. She was here just a few bells ago, or so I was told. Look over there. Could it be? Superman! Yeah. Begging your pardons. Please do not think me strange for asking, but can you tell me if we are close to Selbina? Or perhaps Mara? I fear I'm hopelessly lost. Selbina? Mara? Sorry, dear, but you're on the eastern shore of Vilbrand, Eastern Lanosha, to be precise. I take it you're the far eastern traveler that's been the talk of the taverns as of late? You've cut quite the warpath through Eorzea from what I've heard. Yes, I hail from the Far East, but Vilbrand, Lenosha, I cannot recall such names. Though, truth be told, I cannot recall much of anything since awakening in these strange surroundings. Ooh, she was kidnapped. By Bygrot's beard, you mean you've lost your memory? Why is it everyone that mysteriously ever shows up in this place, like, has amnesia? Really? I remember, my name is Aurora. I guess that's how you pronounce it. I am trading in the way of the glaive, though I feel I am still a novice. Before awakening here, I was on a mission to... Save my girlfriend? Sigh, forgive me. It is hard to make sense of what little I can recall. The only clear thoughts in my mind are of master, and a powerful technique I labor to, to perfect. Amatsu. Koriori. Kairi? Hmm. I am certain it is essential to completing my mission. Hmm. Interesting, you remember training above all else. Perhaps that's the key. If you continue to practice your master's teachings, it stands to reason other related memories might come back to you. Recalling my mission by... First, recalling master's teachings. Yes, that does seem plausible. I do not doubt many of the techniques I have learned have a specific purpose. It would only be a matter of focusing on this particular one. I kind of like her hair. I don't think I would look good with it, but I kind of like it. 
This is the scoop I've been looking for. A Far Eastern warrior on a special mission? What if we're in danger? This isn't some fairy tale like Peter's story. People need to know, but she's no good to us and she can't remember anything. Help her so we can get to the bottom of this. She's like right there. Here, take this map before you go. Training won't do you any good if you get lost now, will it? Your kindness is greatly appreciated, thank you. To journey alone in the strange land would be a trial all its own. I am sure. I am sure. Hmm. Might we explore the shore south of here? I recall mentioned that the beach was an excellent place for training. Something about the aquatic wildlife being suitable for sparring? If the creatures here are similar, I would like very much to try my hand against them. And I trust you'll ensure she has every opportunity to do so. Now don't let me keep you. The sooner she remembers her mission, the better. When she's had her fill of combating critters along the coast, perhaps you should rest in Limsa where it's safer. Bulwark Hall should do nicely. It's the first place you'll see after coming through the gates. Little evil lalafells with hidden agendas. <clears throat> Always a hidden agenda with a lalafell. All right, so we gotta go down here, which looks like a fate spawn. Should probably invite our friend. I have troubles. Oh yes. Less level sink. 35. Ah! This is gonna be a pain in the ass. And it's been so long since I've played Red Mage. Not like it matters. It's pretty easy. Watch me, Red Mage fail. Well, that, that's done. Alright, so now we're gonna go back to Limsa Lumensa. That was easy. And my poor chocobo was all like, I must heal you! Alright, so now we gotta go to Bulwark Hall. There she is. Turning at the beach was invigorating. It has been too long since I enjoyed such sport. Fight alongside one so well versed in the arts of war. I would like to think I improved my form by following your example. Me forgetting how to play class, even playing like forever. At first, I doubted crabs to be suitable for practice, but I was quite wrong. Testing my strength against our hardened shells, swing after swing, over and over again. I could easily spend days or even weeks of time battling them. If I could only remember who suggested this training regimen. Alright, so we got an Optistone Shard. What does that do? Oh my, what a peculiar stone. I sense something within it. Something familiar. Something dark. Mm. Oh, wow. That's not a good look. A grueling battle on the 
cold against evil made manifest. A lord of shadows, long dead yet somehow resurrected. The fate of the realm hanging in the balance. I remember. And yet, I am not convinced these visions relate to my mission. Why would Master entrust me with the means to slay such a foe? The answers must lie within my memories. They have to. All the more reason I must hurry to complete my training and perfect Amatsu whatever. While waiting for your arrival, I asked a couple of travels from Gridania, I think, where I might find creatures of a more dark and unusual nature. They told me of a place called Hauk Manor, a cursed estate whose grounds play host to various sorts of hellish monsters. These creatures sound like promising opponent, opponents, full of the fury and cunning I would expect in a true battle. Now then, let us be off. When we are finished, we can meet in the town nearby. So where am I going? Alright, so now we gotta participate in the fate. So let's see where that is. Black Shroud. Okay, over by... Okay, literally... I could spell. Alright, so literally we're gonna go right in front of Hal Commander. Let's see if I remember how to get there. It's like, ooh, and the fate's already gone. Well, I think I know that one for sure, like, pops up a lot. I think that's the one where it's like you activate it or something. I'm directionally challenged. I love this mount. So, we just sit here and wait. Few minute wait. I am the bluest of the blues. Even my chocobo is blue. <laughs> Two red mages.
The male Mikote dance looks pretty funny. I'll just go with Mandarin the end. Mandarin! Ah, uh, she aggroes. That's funny. Any day, the stupid thing is going to pop up. Half these emotes, I don't even know. Let's see. Maybe it's sulk. Yay! Ooh, I graduated to... 36. I was gonna say, is that it? How many demons are there gonna be? I jump in, but no jumping out. Hmm. 
Woo! Yay! So now we gotta go to New Redonia. New Cordania, here we come! Alright, let's see what she has to say. Thank you for once again aiding in my training. To witness such majesty and grace on the battlefield is truly inspiring. It served as a wonderful lesson in combat. And now we have an Aura Stone Shard. Here you go. Oh, you have found yet another strange stone. Yes, it radiates with a warmth much like the last, but the color is... Wait, do you hear that? Ooh, that's creepy. That is super fucking creepy. A long and arduous journey together with a young girl. This vision is not what I expected. What the hell was up with those... Elves? We fought many battles together, and we were not alone. No, I dare say our comrades well beyond counting. But what business would I, a lowly student, have undertaking such missions? I cannot make sense of it. Still, I must thank you for this. Before meeting you, I was hopelessly lost, smothered by a fog of fear and uncertainty. But now I have your guide, or your light to guide me. You have brought me yet another step closer to completing my training and unlocking the memories still dormant within me. After speaking with a few of the patrons here before you arrived, I believe I found the perfect place to continue honing my skills, the Sagoli Desert. If what I was told is true, a creature of unspeakable terror roams the sands. They say its strength is impossible to gauge as no one lives to tell of its great might. But together, I believe we can lay the beast low. When we have finished, we can take a hard-earned er, hard rest in Ulda. I cannot speak today. All right, so the Sagoli Desert, Forgotten Springs. I bet you a seer is already going to be there. Yep. So, I have a wedding ring. That will transport me right to the side. But it's on a half hour cooldown, so the next one I'm not going to be able to. Wow, we can't barely see the damn telegraphs.
Killing the big scorpion thing. I think that's what it is. Yeah, big scorpion. And it's dead. Yeah! Alright, now we're gonna go to Ulda. <clears throat> All right, so where are we going? Adventurer's Guild. This way. <laughs> going the wrong way. There are no words to express my gratitude for your assistance. Never in my wildest dreams did I imagine confronting the legendary Sarket. If not for you, I would be but one of the countless victims who succumbed to his poisonous sting. Or a stone. Isn't that kind of like the same pronunciation as the last stone? I hate having the smiles apart. There we go. Another stone. Yes, there comes to me now a mortal struggle, forbidden magics uttered in a final bid for salvation. Hmm, kind of sounds like someone else I know. Whoa. That looked trippy. It all makes sense now. Pitch battles, the arduous journeys, the fellowship of adventurers. It was not my life that I recall, but rather the tales of a great hero I mistook as myself. I suspected such feats were too extraordinary to be my own, and the memories held within this stone have removed all doubt. They were of a journey into the past, one that revealed a horrible truth I dare not repeat aloud. And I remember my home, Van Adil. It is not some territory or continent, but an entirely different world. Huh, how'd you get here? My true memories return to me now, and as all thanks to you. More importantly, I believe I now understand how to will Amatsu Kaiori. It should not be long before my path home is clear to me as well, but first I must see my training to its completion. While waiting here, I heard unsettling stories of a foul beast terrorizing Bronze Lake. This is the perfect opportunity to put into practice everything I have learned. Today is the day I wield the power of Amatsu, whatever. After this last endeavor, let us meet in Limsa Lomensa. So back where we started. I'm gonna go check that. I don't. Pretty sure that ring is has a cooldown. Oh, oh, 24 minutes. Damn it! All right, camp Bronze Lake. I believe it was. At least that's not too far. Ugh, I always get so damn lost! Turn around. I don't know how I survive in games, I'm so flippin' directionally challenged, it's ridiculous. Alright. And this is the last one, it looks like. Of course, I pull aggro. I am the tank now.
No. Okay, so that's dead. Fate complete! Alright, speak with uh, what's her nuts and. Limitza Limitza! Yay! Uh, back to Bulwark? Oh, it looks like. At last, the power of Amatsu Korolele is mine to command, and my memories are slowly but surely returning. None of this would have been possible if not for your unwavering guidance. To think I could have forgotten a mission so vital. My resolve was unyielding. My mind focused on the task before me. In the end, I fear I may have jeopardized all I hold dear. As I told you earlier, my home is, or rather was, a world known as Vanadil. Try as we might, its destruction could not be forestalled. But fate saw fit to give me one last chance. I was allowed to travel back in time to escape to the past before the darkness had consumed all. Together with the heroes of the past, I knew that tragedy could be averted, just as it had been so many times before. Master was the greatest of them all, a hero without equal whose grand adventures I mistook as my own memories. I cannot help but feel I am still forgetting something else important, something that happened to Master. Hmm, I suppose in time it will come to me. He died. I don't know. Before I leave, might we go speak with Rimu? If not for her insistence, I would have been bereft of your assistance. It would be rude not to extend my thanks to her as well. Alright, so to the uh, drowning wench then. Let's go talk to the uh, lift attendant over here. Griffar. To the drowning wench. Where is everybody? Over here. I Aura, I or Ha, told me the good news. Her memory is for the most part restored. Perhaps more importantly, her training is complete. If you hadn't come with me to Costa del Sol, I dare say she'd still be swinging at the crabs along the beach. Now that I have you here, I'd very much like to talk to you about my store. Ahem, about what you were doing before we arrived. How exactly did you come to be here in Eorzea? I travel in a carriage. I went through character creation, made myself up, and traveled on a carriage. Oh, her. And you say you went back in time trying to save your world? Preposterous. Yes, you have the right of it. No life was spared by the darkness, none save for mine, that is. Fate intervened, and I was sent back to the past, to a time where I could find heroes capable of saving Vanadil. That is how I was reunited with Master, although at a much earlier time than I anticipated. The last thing I remember is a fierce battle in a strange light. When I next... When next I awoke, I was here. To be torn away from Master when I was in the most, my heart feels like it may burst. Aw. How awful. You were close then? Master was like family to me, an exceptional warrior besides. I've spent my entire life striving to become such a hero and live up to the legends I so fondly remember.
It all began with a stone, or so the story goes. In ages past, a sentient jewel, enormous and beautiful, banished the darkness. Its light filled the world with life and brought forth mighty gods. The world entered an age of bliss, that is, until the gods fell into slumber. That world is my home, Vanadil. Creepy eyeballs. It was home to three great nations, the Kingdom of Sandorai, the Republic of Bistok, and the Federation of Windburst. Powerful as they were, though in times of strife, they would turn to a single hero, my master. So it's kind of like our world, but this looks like a previous Final Fantasy game. Be it a demon of rage seeking vengeance or a spiteful god, our uh, our destruction, Master was always there to pull us back from the brink of oblivion. I bet you you're the Master. That looks like Ifrit. And Fenrir. So as long as there is light and life in the world, the legend of Vanadil's greatest hero will live on. Huh. Almost looks like WoW graphics. There is little wonder these stories were first to spring back to my mind. I have all but memorized them, but no matter how many times I asked you, you would always... Oh, please excuse me. For a moment when I looked at you, something in your eyes reminded me of Master, and I... Don't worry yourself over it. I imagine our friend here often has that effect on people. Okay, so I'm kind of wondering if they're, like, alluding... I haven't played every Final Fantasy game in the world, so I'm kind of wondering if, if, this, if they're, like, alluding to another Final Fantasy game that I'm not aware of. And the master is you, the player, because that would make sense to me. But what would I know? I mean, I doubt, you know, any other Final Fantasy game would have a blue kitty. I realize how ridiculous this seems. Anyone in their right mind would think it's some fanciful dream. But for me, this world is the dream, and now it is time to awaken. When I next open my eyes, I will be home, and then I deal, once more at Master's side. This may be just a dream, but it's one I shall never forget. Thank you for everything. What, is she still here? Guess so. It would seem I am not ready to return. Is this perhaps the will of the goddess? If it is by her will, then so shall it be. I vow to work hard every day to become a warrior worthy of your teachings. Then when the time comes, we shall meet again, here in, e in Eorzea, or perhaps in the waking world. So that's it. Sigh. There goes the greatest story I'll never get to write. An adventurer from another world traveling back in time to save her people. Who's going to believe such a silly tale? I'll leave the flights of fancy to Peter. But for her sake, I hope she finds her way home wherever that may be. Wow, alrighty. That's it? Well, that's it. So, that's it for the Median Rhapsody. I kinda, I, I wanna know, like, what's going on with her? Is there gonna be more? I, yeah. Maybe we'll find out. So, that's the journey for that. 
Uh, this is Zilzen Ziltor, and I'll see you next time. Bye!